We are in an ingenious wireless access point. This is the EAP300, but yours might be a different model. But it all means the same thing, so it doesn't matter which one you're in. This will apply to you. So on the left-hand side, find where it says Operation Mode. It might be in a different place than what you see on my access point. And then on the right-hand side, you see a few different options. So what we're going to talk about in this video is the WDS. And the WDS stands for the Wireless Distribution System. And it allows us, in technical terms, to create an 802.11 network where we can expand using multiple access points. So instead of using a single access point, where you can use multiple access points, but they'll all act as though they are one access point. So if, for example, your SSID under your wireless network is called X, then you can have many different wireless access points and they'll all respond to the SSID of X. So we've got a couple different options. We've got the WDS access point, which I just explained. And then you have the other option, which is the bridge. Now, bridges are different than access points in that uh, a great example with this, with this would be is if you had two buildings. Now, these two buildings have no physical wiring connecting the two buildings together, but you would like the computers in both buildings to talk to each other. So if if you have it in WDS bridge mode, then what you can do is have two of these, one on the roof of each of these different uh, buildings. And if you put them both in bridge mode, then it will connect the two buildings together using wireless signals between the two buildings, but wired network signals inside the building. So you're just networking those two buildings together without wires. So that's what the WDS access point is and the bridge is. Now the bridge you're not going to find as many uses for as the WDS access point, but uh, they both have great uses uh, when you need them.